What's up everyone, I'm back and I did not really expect to make a part 2 of this series if you even want to call it a series. But part of me kind of wanted to make a part 2 of this series even though it's a completely different um, topic. Like, I mean it's the same one but like it's a completely different day and different people. So basically this took place in gym class. None of my friends are in my uh, class so... None of them are going to be in my story this time. It's basically just one-on-one, -on -one, me and the guy I'm going to be talking about. I was a little harsh last video, so I'm going to come up with a nicer name. I'm going to just call him Mr. Loud, because he is kind of loud in my class. So before I'm going to get onto the story, I'm going to tell you guys on who he kind of is, or what his personality is like. But I'm not going to get in, like, to the, what his name is or whatever. I'm going to just get him to... What kind of a person he actually is. So basically Mr. Loud is one of those uh, extroverted guys. He's loud like one of those sort so-called class clowns. And also another one of those people uh, who tend to like make like moaning sounds for fun in the locker room. Just make like weird childish noises. To put it this way he's just another one of those attention seekers. That expects everyone to laugh at him for what he does and says. And he's been that way for the entire semester which is about like 5-6 months or so. And throughout these months, I can see, like, almost everybody in the class likes him. Like, he he's, like, funny or so. He is also uh, liked by teachers a lot because of how funny he is. But me, I have a different story about it. And I'm gonna tell you all about it. So now that you know who he kind of is, what type of person he is, now I'm gonna get into the story. So it all started when we were in the basketball unit. So we, the whole class is just playing basketball. And we were doing a duos, which is basically teams of and two. And this time, the, the gym teacher allow us to pick our own partners. But I'm the complete opposite of Mr. Loud. I am very shy and introverted. I'm extremely quiet. And plus, none of my friends are in my class. So I don't really care who I'm partnered up with. So we were picking partners, but Mr. Loud also didn't have a partner. So I asked her that, I, hey, I don't really care who my partner is. I just want to play basketball. So Sir decided to pair me up with Mr. Loud. At that time, I didn't really know him that well, so I didn't know about the all that trouble that we were going to get into. So there was like 10 or 15 teams. I don't really know how many teams there were, but like there were quite a bit because there was quite a... I think there was like 30-something in my gym class, which is a huge class. So basically, uh, we were just playing basketball now, so he passed to me. And I missed the basketball. Uh, so basically now we're just playing basketball, right? And now I was just waiting for him to pass me. So he did. And then I shot and missed. And ever since I missed, he never passed me again. So basically it's just a two-on-one now. And then it's just me standing there waiting for him to pass me because I was wide open. But no, he just decided to go and shove right through to, uh, our two opponents instead of passing to me. And skipping all of that. So we played a few matches with like different opponents. And we lost pretty much all of them. And then he started blaming me on why we weren't winning. So I shouted back at him that maybe you should pass the ball to me. And then maybe we start winning. It's not a two on one here. So then he started to pass the ball a little more often. But I kept missing. And like and yeah I'm not really good at basketball. I actually hate basketball. But still you cannot just like leave your teammate right out of it. That's not what a good teammate does and then we lost almost all the matches throughout the round robin we played and then at the end he kept blaming me and like yelling or like giving me a rude tone of voice to me on why we kept losing and then I said maybe you should pass the ball more often work as a team it's just common sense man throughout most of those matches he kept saying play defense play defense like literally shouting at me and I'm when I'm literally trying my best. But the fact that he's literally like forcing me or like shouting at me is literally ruining my confidence and is pretty much the reason why I'm not playing as good. He's not really motivating me, he's just criticizing me. You see, a good teammate would help support them and uh, motivate them when their teammate is like feeling down or whatever. But no, mine was just criticizing me and not even supporting me at all. And then he was just blaming me on why we were all losing. You can say he was playing for himself. And the thing is, guys, about the criticism, I don't really respond to criticism that well. So the more a person criticizes me, the I tend to get less focused and stuff. And not only that, I start to get pissed off when people criticize me. I just don't like criticism whatsoever. I don't respond to it that well. I tend to daydream more when people do that. And that's exactly what happened during those basketball matches. He was pretty much just criticizing me the entire time. I was losing focus and I'm basically just daydreaming. Which led to him to criticize me even more. What I would have liked instead 
was uh, to be supported, and that basically does the opposite of me daydreaming. It actually gets me focused, motivates me, and like you name it. But hey, in life, you you will meet people you won't like, and this story is a good example of that one time. So moving on, it's the next day, and it was much worse than what I said the first half of the video. The next day was much worse, a lot of crap happened, and we were going to be playing basketball again, but this time it's going to be like, uh, it's a trio this time. It's basically the teams of three. And my teacher allowed us to pick our own partners again, but again, since I don't really know anybody in my class, I said again to my teacher, hey, I don't really care who I'm partnered up with. But when I was choosing, Mr. Lau was like, hey, don't pick me, no, 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 in front of everyone in my class. When he kept saying that in front of the class, I, I was like, hey, Mr. Lau, I'll pick you to kind of get back at him. So we were playing trios, so we had a, one other person in my team, and that same person is also in one of my friend's video, Mr. Tall. I'll just call him Mr. Tall. So when we started playing basketball again, the three of us, it was deja vu all over again. The criticism came back. And it's gone to a point where Mr. Tall also started to criticize me. And one thing Mr. Tall said, he was like, Hey, Lizbird, here's the ball. Take it and shoot it. You sing it like I was a dumb idiot. And, and the criticism just kept going on. And it's gone to a point where I started to get really pissed. And I'm like, okay, I will, I will play defense. And I started to play really rough. And then I started to try to play defense what, exactly what my teammates told me to do. And then when I went to go uh, hit the ball out of his hands when he was trying to shoot, I missed. And then my hand hit his eye. After that, the criticism just suddenly stopped. And then Mr. Lau came up to me and said, hey, don't play like that. You're going to get someone hurt. And he looked like he was so worried as well. And I said completely nothing after I hit him because I was in complete shock and I usually lose the ability to speak whenever I am in shock. But I was concerned that everyone thought I did it on purpose, but I didn't do it on purpose. I couldn't be further from the truth. Yes, I was a bit upset, but I was only trying to do the, the very thing that my freaking teammates keep trying to tell me to do. And then after they were literally playing with me here, they were like constantly joking around like Mr. Loud and Mr. Tall. They are like, here, go on one-on-one. -on -one. Let's see if he can actually do anything. And then I just went from being concerned to um, being pissed again. So basically, I just went back to playing rough. Me and, like, the other dude were literally shoving each other, trying to get the ball. I mean, I had the ball. He was literally shoving me, and I tried to shove him back. Even though he was kind of a jerk during the match, when we were done everything, we eventually apologized, so we're cool now. But back to Mr. Loud and Mr. Tall, they didn't even apologize at all. They just they just didn't even care about me. They just treat they just treat me like crap. But anyway, like it was the end of the day, so like basically the next like the next two weeks after that, it, uh, nothing much happened. But like we were just like playing like team of five or whatever. I was pretty much against Mr. Loud this time. I was actually playing better defense because my teammates I was with were actually supportive and nice to me, so I was playing much better. And then when I was actually playing defense against him, he would like he kept accusing me of cheating, which I barely even touched him. I didn't even touch him at all. So not only he was criticizing, but he can be a, a sore loser at sometimes. Basically, pretty much like throw a tantrum, or whatever, whatever he would lose a basketball game or just lose in general. But like fast forward today, like we really don't care about each other. We we just don't talk or like we pretty much have never like said anything to each other ever since that basketball match. And as of right now, the semester is over, so we have no more gym class, so I'm probably not going to see him again. And the thing is, every once in a while, I kind of face this type of behavior when people will frequently ask me, Why are you so quiet, Lisbert? Why are you so quiet? Like, many people, like in my school, are, are not a huge fan of quiet people, other than the teachers. Dude, that's just how I am. Not everyone's going to be an extrovert. That's pretty much how everyone expects it to be nowadays. Like, everyone expects one another to be an extrovert, just like just like them, and when they're not, they question why they're so quiet. To me, that frequently happens. I'm just an introvert. I'm not the type of person to go out to parties and get drunk. Plus, I don't even drink or whatever. I'm just a, I'm just a proud introvert. I like to do what I want. I don't like to be criticized. Like, that's just me. But back to the point, like, after today, like, he, he's, he was like a jerk to me. But the semester's over, so I, w I hope I won't have to see him again. Pretty much the entire video, I was just saying everything wrong about Mr. Loud and Mr. Uh, Tall. About them, like, criticizing me or whatever. But I can say there's also a few wrongs with me, too. First of all, I do not respell, um, respond well to criticism. 
And plus, I can be uh, short-tempered at times sometimes, which is probably why I was acting the way I was in the story. But believe me, I'm, I'm much uh, more chill today than I was back then. If 13-year-old me were in that basketball match with those with Mr. Loud and Mr. Tall, all hell would have broken loose. But one more thing I just kind of need to improve on myself on, I just got to stand up for myself more often. Plus, even though like I'm much better at standing up for others, I still need some work on standing up for myself. But I am going to wrap it up for today because that's all I have to say pretty much about what happened at gym class. So that's all I have for you today and I'll see you in the next video.